I'm Rosalind Wiseman, and I'm a relationship expert. Rosalind, what kind of grade would you give to two educators, to schools? About a C minus. I'm a mom. I have um, two sons, and this is my sister Zoe. I'm the opposite of that. If we were going to have an orgy, who do you think would be the first one to have sex with me? No kids, no boyfriend, and really delighted about that. Many of my advice is because they don't know how to dress, they don't know how to treat women, they don't know how to go down on girls, they don't know how to have sex, period. They don't know what to do with themselves in general. They pick careers they hate, they have mothers that boss them around, they have no spine, no testicles. It's really hard for guys. Men are in crisis today, and you know I think we can help them. I think it'll be fun to try. I'm Sujal Kapadia. We've been married for 15 years and we have three kids. We're sitting in a room next door listening to what they're saying and their kids and I cannot believe what I'm hearing. I'm a stay-at-home dad and I do want to return to the professional world. Well, you know, we have three girls so it'd be kind of fun to have a boy. I don't want to have any more kids. My first impression is, is that she is completely controlling him and she won't listen to him. I want more kids because it's been a great experience. Probably because she doesn't have to raise them. Why not go for a fourth? I mean, for God's sake, in Africa they're having thousands, so why not here? Every single thing she said made me hate him more and made me pity him. It's not the end of the world, so you make it such a big deal. You, you're, not, you're not living in the real world. She's not listening to what I'm saying. I mean, I really don't know why you are being so stubborn about doing this. But you're not in the home to raise the three kids that we already have. When we're talking about this continuously. We need help. We need a solution. This family is at a really, really hard time, a really hard intersection, but, you know, if they don't figure this out, it's going to really ruin their marriage. I think we should recommend divorce immediately. My objective in trying to help Sujal is to get him to feel that he deserves to speak out for himself. Say hi, Ross. What are you worried about the most? For adding a fourth kid just completely unravels our life. Do you, uh, do you think it's actually possible that you will have a fourth child against your will? I'd like for us to not get to the point where it's my bill versus Melanie's will. Do you feel like the way that you talk to her is successful? Uh, probably not. I'm asking him questions that he hasn't thought about. Make your declaration. Make what you must have. I need uh, sanity. She oh, yeah. doesn't get to set the entire family's definition of what is overwhelming. If you have a different definition, and yeah. that needs to be respected and valued. He's taking it all in. He's thinking about it. But my objective for him is to get him laid, at least once, without having a child come out of it. Here is my recommendation. One, mm. get a vasectomy as soon as humanly possible. Snip it, quit it, get rid of it, problem solved. Well, she's going to get pretty upset, don't you think? This is your dick. You Just do what you do want with your dick. Zoe's strategies are often risky and sometimes dangerous. Number two is much more sex, but the kind of sex that you had before you had kids. The third thing, if she really wants to have this kid, you need to go back to work and she needs to put her money where her mouth is and stay at home. I definitely think you should call her bluff because there's no way she'll take you up on it. It would just be a way for her to see that what she's asking of you is so insanely selfish that maybe she'll have the perspective to let it go. Zoe's, you know, clearly a bit more outrageous in her thoughts. Uh, however, I do like what she said, which is calling Melanie's bluff. If he's saying to you, I'm at my breaking point, and he's your partner, he's your spouse, I can't do this the way this is happening right now, right? What are you willing to sacrifice? I mean, nothing really. She's not getting what she's about to lose, and I'm really gonna have to push her to make her realize it. I guess I just wanna know from you, how to so amazingly emasculate your husband? I think right now, we're gonna take, you know, the reversal role and see what it feels like to walk a minute into your husband's shoes. Take all the kids, do the chores, the stuff that he does all the time. Come on. Oh, gosh. Mila, stop asking. <laughs> okay, back up. Beep, 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 beep. Amelie! This looks Stop fun. It. I can't wait to have kids. Stop. She's completely incapable of doing it for more than 16 seconds. So I, my recommendation to her would be not to have another child. You, you do see a correlation, however, if you're going to have this fourth kid, that you're going to ruin your vagina again. We should think about the money, the time, the vagina, the nipples, the lack of sex, the lack of sleep, that you're being really selfish and wanting to have your career drop off your kids with your husband, have him do all the dirty work. Literally, you won't change dirty diapers. Do you think, in a way, it's, it's just unfair to him? Hmm. Roz and Zoe are completely different. I would take Zoe's advice over Roz. Zoe had a, a pretty clear-cut solution to moving this thing forward. Good job, sister. I might not agree with your uh, 
ho hum way of life, way, looking yeah. at thinking and thinking and <laughs> thinking. Your thing. June way of yeah, being, but right. uh, I think we actually helped him today, so good job. All right. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Definition of success no rehab, no prison, no marriage, no ring, no kids, no problem. Killing it. Unlike you, two kids living in suburban hell with your with your husband of 20 years and you've only had sex with like eight people. I know, uh, that, that is embarrassing to me. Win. <laughs>